What's going on? Welcome back to another Kaladesh draft. Amonkhet, Ixalan, Strict Proctor. It's Strict Haven. One, three for two. Whenever a permanent entering the battlefield causes a trigger ability to trigger counter that, unless it pays two. Hmm. Owlin Shield Mage. This pack is actually not very exciting. Umbral Juke. This looks like a creature because the creature is just like front and center. Uh, target player sacrifice creature, planeswalker, create a 2 1. It feels better than. It feels better than something like Plague Crafter. Hmm. I think this, this pack is pretty unimpressive. I could see taking like Agonizing Remorse, but I kind of like Shield Mage or Leech Fanatic because this is pretty decent when you go this into the 2-2 uh, with Menace. <sighs> First picking Leech Fanatic is not ideal, but what can you do? Uh, Withering Pledge Mage is fine. Rise is pretty good. Explosive Welcome is nice. Unfortunately, there's no Rakdos Guild. There's no Black Red Guild. Hmm. I think it might just be Rise. Another rise. Double rise. Creative outburst also pretty sweet. Man. The Prismarian commons have been very, very good so far. I think we're just taking another rise. I don't think we're giving these up just for creative outburst. And this is pretty similar. Like six mana, you're killing a thing and, and getting a learn getting a lesson. Shadewing Laureate is a nice bonus. Other than creature with flying dies, put one counter on a creature you can kill. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's, let's do that. Hmm. It's a floor two flyer that's actually pretty decent. Could also try to splash the red. I actually think we're gonna try to do that. This is significantly better than like this or this or this. Um, and we can get uh, white red lands or, I, okay, I guess it's just white red lands. Inkling summoning is nice, so is Mentor's Guidance. Actually, if we're splashing red, this Explosive Welcome is... Yeah, we're just taking the Explosive Welcome number two. Did you take the rest? Mm, essence infusion might be fine. I wish it wasn't a sorcery, but what can you do? Um, sure. It's probably better than just random duress, I would imagine.
crushing disappointment, probably fine. I mean, again, nothing in this bag is super exciting, unfortunately. Drawing two cards is all right. The mage came back? Is this the... Yeah, this is pick nine. Yeah, it goes well with Shadewing Laureate, so that's fine. Bit on the expensive side, but... This is another deck I definitely take... Uh, the three mana mana rock in. The explosive welcome came back? Does anyone know if they fixed the bug with Maelstrom Muse yet? Oh, I don't even know what that is. Jeez. I mean, I get it's eight mana, but like it's very solid. Especially if we can get it back with Return Pass Caller. Creative Outburst came back too? Are people like... Is there just like no one in Prismari? I mean, it's too late to switch, but I'm, I'll take the I'll take the commons and consider that a pretty sweet gift. Uh, lesson, sure. That's a trick. Lost a game to the bug, then the very next game I won because of a bug. <laughs> Big cap on my opponent. Good times. Yeah, I'll take the. the uh... Oh. Two, three for three creatures you control can be indestructible. Uh, or f eight mana, choose a creature and planeswalker, destroy all other ones. That feels better than Orator. Or Spiteful Squad. Yeah, it's got to be this. Like, even as a 2-3 three for 3 that you can exile to give your other guys indestructible. Seems just fine. And then, like, if you just get to the late game, you literally kill everything. Okay. We can play a Hoffrey. Spirits get plus 1, plus 1, and have Trample and Haste. Are the... Are the Inklings Spirits? I mean, it's also a 4-5 for five, 5, which is a good rate. And whenever another non-token creature you control dies, exile it, you get a spirit token that's a copy of it. It's pretty insane. Good old Lash of Malice. That seems fine. Oh, closing statement's great. Another Laureate. If Lorehold Campus, Expanded Anatomy, or the Laureate come back, that'd be great, but we're definitely taking Closing Statement. Closing Statement, giving you a discount if you play it during your end step is pretty sweet. It's really interesting that it's during your end step. Like, it feels like it'd be during the opponent's end step because not many spells are played during your own end step, so it's kind of very unintuitive. Oh, another closing statement. And D Spark is actually great too. 
This kills anything and puts a creature on a, a counter on a creature, which actually, I mean, that seems definitely better. This also costs three, where this costs two. Oh, uh, it's definitely feeling more like more like Martyr Control the further we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the other closing statement. Oh, a fracture. Two three flyer. Then your combat target creature controls get plus one visibility. Yeah, it's actually. I mean, it's just three. It's a three three flyer for four at the very least. I actually haven't seen this guy very frequently. It's I'm surprised it's common. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking a four drop. Again, it goes well with the Shadewing Laureate. But again, Shadewing Laureate goes well with itself, right? Because oh, I guess it's one another creature. Yeah, I guess. Let me put those theoretically at three, because we can always just play like a. If we have six mana, we can play a three drop and then play it at the the end step. Another owl. I mean, five drops. I mean, I think, I think we can take another one. Pillar Drop Rescuer is nice. Second Combat Professor. Let's go with that guy for now. It's a little better for our curve. We only have three four drops right now. I mean, we're already playing three colors in the main deck. I don't think we're going to go four for just for a for blue sideboard cards. Letter of acceptance is exactly what we're looking for, actually. I'm being three three ramping us to five or six. It's pretty great. Uh second lash of malice? Sure. This is draft number oh, I don't know actually. I'm actually not sure which one it is. On the internet. Favorite school to draft? I'm actually not sure, to be quite honest. None of these cards are exciting. I'll just take the Dusk Mage. Maybe this is better. I don't know. I haven't played with this, but sometimes equipment can be pretty surprising. I'll take Defend. It's a removal spell at the very worst. Um, I have enjoyed Quandrix, and... <laughs> it's funny, because I've enjoyed Quandrix and, like... Uh, Wither Bloom. Oh, of course he liked the the salt eye colors. Why wouldn't he? I've done the best with Silver Quill. White Black is my second best. White Black is Silver Quill, you, you little silly goose. Oh, a fracture came back. Wondrix Command. Third Lash of Malice, not really what we're looking for. Oh, WB is in Wither Bloom. Got it. I thought she meant white black. Haha, -ha, I see. No land in this pack. That's interesting. Is that is that correct? Three damage to any target and learn. Yeah, Ignis Inspiration, that's really good. I was going to take, like, I, I, I guess nothing. I mean, this is great. We are looking for some, some more lands. And more than this, this single land. How many lessons do we have right now? We have literally just Spirit Summoning. And I think that's it. Okay. Well, 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 well. 
Our curve is looking rough. We want more two drops, but I think I twitch is probably a fine replacement. Because I don't think this is one of the... It, this one's fine, but like we have so many cards that exile already that like I'd rather have a card something that draws a card. Letter of Second Letter of Acceptance would be nice, but I think I want to take the eye twitch. And now I'd love to see some lessons. I guess this is fine. I mean, Pest Summoning is still just a card that I'll play. I personally don't think Proctor is great. I don't know how many... I, I don't like there's actually been times where like my own creatures were shut off by it. Yeah, I'm going to take pest summoning. Oh, another eye twitch and an introduction to prophecy. I don't think it's claimed the firstborn. I think we're just taking the, the lesson here. Like short of like lands, which I'd love to get like two more of. I, I think we're actually looking pretty decent. This is a this is a solid twenty three. I mean, we don't have a ton of two drops. We also have two lash of malice and an eye twitch. You guys can be free general instant sorcery. Sure, shock is fine. I mean, Shock is just the third Lash of Malice, right? Except it can go face. And it's not <laughs> second Shock. Okay. Boy. It'd be nice to prevent those counters. What, what counters are you referring to specifically? Just taking another Shock. I don't think we're playing that many, but... A three, three, four, three might be fine. I mean, I really don't like our mana distribution currently. Thrilling discovery. How's our four drop looking? We could probably take a spiteful squad. Didn't we have a spirit summoning? Did I just miss? I think that was the only one we had at the time. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, Guiding Voice is fine. Man, I can't believe we didn't hit... I mean, maybe we didn't, I just missed them, but I, I feel like we opened very opened or, or saw very few lands in these colors. I will take a second letter of acceptance and probably play it as well. I think we can take, like, Professor's Warning out. This is a late practical research, like, and a late Eureka moment. Like, what is this? Is a weird draft. Oh, uh, I actually think Relic Sloth is fine. Yeah, I could see playing Strict Proctor like just to turn off the like the when you know when this creature enters the when a creature enters the battle. Wait, no, hold on. Wait, I don't think that that doesn't work though, right? Like Proctor says, when a, when a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability to trigger counter that ability, but like the croc that puts counters on is Magecraft. Yeah, 
Because that guy is whenever you cast a spell or copy an instant, put a one-one counter. Like they're not gonna, yeah, they're not gonna interact the way the way you think they might. Forty-four cards, huh? How many creatures is this? This is twelve creatures. I thought of during those handful of cube games matches recently when you had cast a channel. Did you ever continue to add mana post combat or after casting a spell? You can add mana for the rest of the day. Continue to add mana. Not unless I needed it, right? I mean, like. I think we're taking out the shock because, like, I just don't want to have. I think, yeah, we're taking out the sloth. I just, like, we have so much removal. Two rise, two closing statements. Two explosive welcomes, but that can also hit face, which is nice. Um, I mean, spiteful squad is basically removal. This is this is removal if we get to it. I feel like the life link is nice, but we can probably cut guiding voice. I don't think we're creature heavy enough, and maybe essence infusion. And this is definitely like a control deck here. Yeah, actually, like, this is 775, which is pretty decent considering we have four red cards and two letter of acceptance. These are very nice, too. I mean, I'm a John Avon purist, though, so. Okay, we're just going to go red and black. Interesting. Spirits have trample and haste. Good grief. Okay, well, we're definitely changing that. We'll change it to, we'll change it to Hoffrey. Yeah, no. Channel lets you. Channel just gives you an ability that lets you add mana for the rest of the turn. I mean, typically there's very, very few games where you're like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna cast this pre-combat and then go to post-combat and then cast this. Like, it's just not super common. Um, I'll keep it. If we hit at any land, we can play this. If we hit a black, we can play both of these. Okay. Sounds good. And we still get... Igneous inspiration here. We get to learn. Okay, now we're not going to cast it. We're just going to play Leech back. Fascinating. No blocks. Bold strategy. Uh, I don't want to take three damage. I'll just block. You think they're going to eat that immediately? Oh. Well, that was... That was fascinating. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. I feel like we're winning this race. Our opponent also might be relatively new. Bird is the word. Every time I see a black blue flyer for like four mana or more, I always think it like drains and gains like blind hunter. Okay. We're owling out. Um, I don't understand. Keep attacking. Like, I take two, and then you take two, and I gain the two back. So I'm still at 19, but you're at 11. Meanwhile, if you block, I don't really 
really gain anything. Yeah, now I'll take three. Ah, they figured it out. I mean, I don't necessarily want to use this, but I also, we limit one of their options and we get to draw a card here, so. Uh, let's get rid of the removal. This is fine. I mean, that thing gained us, like, probably 8 to 10 life. I thought their pet was a sandwich. Wow, it really does actually look like a sandwich. That's actually pretty hilarious. Um, I'll take this because it draws us two. God, and they take two as well, so they're just dead on board. This is any target? Oh, geez. Well, I guess that's that. I thought their pet was a sandwich. That's two? Oh man, you're gonna gain a life. Oh, I guess I guess we can still kill them with the owl. I forgot we had the extra three damage here. Oh. Alright, never mind. Oh boy. Oh boy. You can't be a sandwich and a, and a tome of wraps at the same time, buddy. You're confusing your sandwich vehicles. I don't feel like we really need the sideboard here. <laughs> Telephone call from Mr. Horrible. Sam Burglar the Sandwich. You guys you guys don't know how sandwiches work. It's unfortunate. I still love you guys, but... Jeez. I think we're... I think we're not keeping this. I don't know, five drop, four drop, five drop, five drop, six drop with one land. It's not great, Bob. This is better. Um, let's ship one white. Red is our splash color, right, guys? I'm no expert, but... Why am I a sandwich bun? I like your strategy draw the lands first, get the boring stuff. That's what I'm trying to do, you know? I like to save the best for last. I feel like I'm just taking this. Maybe not. Let's see what happens. If they have a pump spell, like plus two, plus two, I don't know if that's an option. That? Okay, they get a guy out of it, though. Sure. That's not bad. Hmm. I kind of don't hate just killing this. They were on the play, so they missed the land drop? No. No, no, no. Like, because we get it back as soon as we hit six... Like how I eat Pop-Tarts. Yes, yeah, so you clearly eat all the... 
you eat all the, the crusty edges first, and then you eat the then you eat the the frosted inner part next. Is is my assumption. Interesting. Discarded defend the campus. Okay, more lands. Sounds good. That's how I eat pizza. Sometimes I eat the crust first. And then I'll just eat the delicious middle bit. You know, the pizza middle bit. Everybody knows that. Oh, fashionably late to the party, I see. So three cards in hand. Spirit instant or sorcerer. Like, this guy's just a 4-2 fire that draws you like a solid removal spell. So next turn we'll have seven, and we can play two removal spells. Then the turn after that, we got Explosive Welcome. So we can technically deal with like four creatures right now. I don't know if you guys know this, but that's a lot. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Still two for one. Like we drew this and got rid of this. I mean, we're at 12, but you know. Is that a different... Okay, they, they have Thrill and Faithless Looting. Got it. Faithless Looting is negative one. It's like pitch three, draw two. Okay, well, they know we have this, even though it's six damage here. Okay, I do like that. Next. Um, I do have enough mana to cast it, but okay. Yeah, that was a really good draw. <laughs> Cause now we can actually, if they if they make this a three two, we can lash it and still get in there for three. I keep drafting on arena, and I end up with a bloom ninety percent of the time. Which I think means I'm doing something wrong, but I'm having a good I think that I think that the latter part is the most important one. Dang it. It's still fine. Yep. I'm gonna gain my three and then kill this guy. And now if they play uh this, we can go shoot their face. Yeah, that's fine. Good deal. Wait, what? Oh, when it dies, learn. For some reason, I was like, why didn't I learn? Oh, it's when it dies. Yeah, that'd be real good if it was just a 1-1 flyer that drew your card. Okay. Well, this is going to be all right. Let's draw a the three mana artifact. Okay, well, three, four, six, seven, eight. We're not gonna be able to do anything with the mana, unfortunately. You gonna learn today. Why didn't I learn? Uh, five, three. They're 20. Jeez. Combat professor giving... Yep, okay. Oof. Oh, no blocks. Oh, because it comes in, like, tapped. Okay. Can that? Can you only do that as a sorcery? No. Okay. Yeah, they're probably... I would say they're reading Hoffrey, but it wasn't highlighted, so... Hoffrey is Wall of Text City. Whenever a non-token creature dies. Okay. Well, that's big, but... Okay. This gives Vigilance and plus one, plus another. So we can actually... 
And it happens whether or not he attacks, which is great. You can right click so the opponent doesn't know. You don't know what's going on. Wait, really? You can right click on the card? But like, as soon as you hover over it to right click, it's already highlighted, right? What do you mean? What are you saying? Sounds crazy. Okay. Oh, so like I can just be like, oh, like that, and then it'll just pop up. I mean, alternatively, like one of the things I've done has been like, I literally would keep a window open and just read the cards online just so they don't know I'm like, because a lot of times when you highlight their card, you're like, oh, what does this do? Or like if you're thinking of attacking with your flyer and you hover over their creature with reach because you're not sure. And then they're like, why are they hovering over it? Let's, oh, it's got reach. And then you like clue them into to a thing, you know? Is this guy a vigilance? No. I mean, we're just way, way far ahead right now, so I'm not like super concerned. Yeah, not only like tips your hand, but it tips them off to like what you, what, like to things they may have forgotten. Which I was playing Legends of Runeterra, which, I, which I've really been enjoying. And um, the nice thing about that is like, well, when you hover over their cards, it doesn't really do anything. Oh, because it gets plus one, plus one. Oh, wow. Trample Haste and Lifelink. Jeez. This is nice because... Oh, okay. We're just... Yep. This is pretty good. Hoffrey is pretty good. See, I love drafting decks like this. Like, this deck looks fun. I hope we don't die to, like, aggressive things. Or, like, control decks that can outdraw us, but... Hover dancing and a mana dancing. I don't even know what that means. I think this is actually fine. I like kill their first three things. Hopefully draw into something good. Okay. We can also go letter into lash, which is nice. Unless they, they didn't play anything. Damn. Beautiful bird. I mean, we could kill it and play archway commons. Probably better than Spiteful Squad, right? And because next turn we can play Rise, kill something. Like, our hand is literally three removal spells, so... Okay, now we just get to lash it. Eight mana, huh? We have six. Excel up to one, hmm, submit to zero. I think we're just getting draw a card here.
them both. I doubt they block. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Are they reading Hoff Hoffrey? Because he's wall of text. We could also have a trick, so. Nice. Like it. have three cards left huh actually if we deadly vanity and and choose hoffrey and these guys die oh, okay <laughs> well see you later spirit summoning you got it I think we just hold this. Like, it just feels better if we're able to, like, wipe their board. Well, oh, that feels worse now. What is this? I don't think I've even seen this card. Cooked creature has flying. Whenever it deals combat damage, draw a card and then discard a card. Hmm. Well, all right then. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. We have nine mana. This is a lot of mana. We've drawn ten lands so far. These seem great. Yep. Seems good. Here we go. Uh, are you referring to this one? Terms of one artifact, enchantment, instant, and sorcery. Yeah, this card's great. I don't think we have anything that loots, so I'm just going to play this. Blocks. 
I don't really watch you on TV, but it has a delay, and I feel like I got a lot of stuff on my laptop. Totally understand. Do appreciate it, Super Average. Okay, them not killing this guy feels pretty good. They do get to exile it, but then they get to pay three, so they go to six. And that's their turn. What does this do? The beginning of your instant mill card. If it's a land, you gain a life, otherwise it deals a damage. Okay. They're playing just mono lore hold excavations, I guess. <laughs> Do I have one, two, I have four mana. Oh, that's frustrating. I'd rather have a closing statement, but I think we're just taking the lash to kill this guy. And then we have lethal on board. Okay, sure. They can't give one flying though, which is kind of a big deal. Four, five, oh my God. They had to gain a life there. And then watch, they can hit, like, gain a good deal, uh, deal a point to us. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Like, they have to have a removal spell, and they have to hit with this. I'm just going to hit with this guy, because Explosive Welcome kills them all the same next turn. That's fine. See, now we have to block. Okay. Uh, five, three. Got he. Explosive welcome. Doing the Lord's work. I actually wonder if Fracture's any good. Like, they, I saw quite a few enchantments. Are there any cards that exile their graveyard? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, what did we see? 
Elemental mastery is good. Heated debate, illuminate. Galazeth. Several three two spirits, yeah. I mean, we'll just play it like this. I think our deck is fine. Oh, uh, I have not played anything. No, that's totally not off topic, but I just haven't played any standard since the new set. I guess we could have cut like a lash. I don't really love lashing three twos but i mean it is an answer and they do kind of have they do kind of have a bunch so it's kind of like i don't just want to get boned by three twos a million times interesting starting with double red does not seem ideal but we don't have any white either Okay, <laughs> this is wild. Five, six, eight, five, five, and like all of them are white. Can't kill that guy here. We did good. Did good. Um, yeah, we can just shield mage, shield mage here. Got it. One, two, three, four. We have seven mana, so we can actually, we're very close to just explosive welcoming. Plus two? Oh, okay, I think that was the previous match anyway. Maybe? I don't actually know anymore. They're all running together. They have three cards. We have three cards. Yep. Every time they have Rise of Exodus for our Hoffrey. Seems good. Four, six, seven, eight. Isn't it better to just pay five and not use the card in hand and better have better use of your mana there?
Let's get pest summoning, actually. Okay. Seems fine. They have one other creature. That's good for us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of this guy. They have two cards. Uh, we actually, no, we can't actually exile creatures. This is exile an instant or sorcery from a, from a graveyard. So what is this? I don't care about this stupid thing. We're just going to kill it next turn. We'll take two, and then we'll just kill their whole board. And then we'll play Introduction off of three mana. Uh, five, three. Oof. Um, draw two is nice, but I just don't want to take two when we're at eight. And, like, just play this. We won't be too far behind here, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, the exile super nice on this because it just doesn't. It's a lot of mana we've drawn. Okay, seems good. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lands. <clears throat> 13 out of 22 cards have been lands. Hmm. Don't really love the idea of going to 4 against their, their lower hold excavation. I do like that. pretty good oh yeah that's real good okay that's fine it's not the hmm I just feel like it's probably unwise to block with both can we draw the destroy all creatures because that would be phenomenal oh. Well, now we can double block. Hope they don't have a trick and then uh, try not to die. Oh, well, yep, they got a trick. Sure. Yep, obviously. It's a weird play, though, because if we have a removal spell, we just kill this and then we don't. I guess, it, I guess it's, I don't know. I guess it's fine. Professor's Warning seems decent. They have a lot of removal. I actually do kind of like Fracture here. Take out probably one Lash. Six, 12, I can't, it's only 17 lands. I'm like, 
Surprised we're drawing the lands we are. 4-4 four, four guy? Actually, Relic Sloth's not bad. It, it, is, a, it is a pretty rel relevant blocker. Take out a Shield Mage, I guess. That seems fine. Yeah, I mean, we drew like 13 or 14 lands. Like, that's a lot. Yeah, any black source in this hand is very good. Trading a real creature for a spirit does feel bad. Agreed. Okay. Another black card? Sounds good. That's very similar to a... Uh... Yep, sounds good. Great. Is it not... Okay, sounds good. Nice. I love it when I love it when games end like this. This is my favorite. Um, let's get rid of fracture, I guess. I don't know if Lorehold Excavation is actually that good, but I mean, it's either going to gain you. I mean, milling a card every turn does add up, especially if you have double Lorehold Excavation. Cool. Yep. Let's go to the next round. Love it. Destined to not 3 0 ever. Maybe next time, don't get all the lands out of that. I'm trying, man. God. Okay, my dude, my map is done, so I'm going... Oh, cool, so... Cool, buddy. Once your map's done, you're all done. Super Fritz, I'll see you later this week, I'm sure. Have a good night, my dude. So this hand's good. Letter into Lash. Are we on the play? No. Never lucky. It is four in the morning, you're right. It's a solid point. Man, that was a hard choice on that. M21 and Throne of Eldraine. Interesting, interesting mishmash of lands here. It is 150 right now for me. Okay. That guy's fine. Oh boy. Is this spirit? Oh, I can get plus one plus oh. Okay. I mean, I'm not entirely sure the 4-4 shouldn't just be in the main deck in place of something. I am also in Mountain Time. I am in Aurora Mountain Time. Colorado Bros. Oh, Gift of Estates. That's pretty good. Gift of Estates on three lands is just pretty, pretty bonkers. Man, we're owling out. <sighs> I will block this guy. Unless you draw the card that's like... Oh, they just looted. Nice. Okay.
No blocks. Yeah. Because we can play this guy next turn, block infinitely, put the counters on this guy. No, it's not trouble. It's vigilance menace. The 4 4 has vigilance and menace. Manasio, if you will. Menace on red white in this economy? Red creatures frequently have menace. What does this do? Whenever you cast a spell and spirit creatures are getting tapped, deals one damage to each opponent. Yeah, I don't care about that. That don't impress me much. Attack with my burden. Got the touch. One, two, three, four, five, we have six mana. It's weird that they tapped it. Oh, I guess it's our only black source outside of letter. That makes sense. I understand. sad but then we can play returned past caller next turn get back lash kill this with lash and then have a pretty decent blocker you don't have vigilance right just detach hmm We also have seven mana, so we're real close to just flipping this and playing it for a million. I bet they're going to kill this in response. They did not. I think we're just passing here. Which one are they hitting? My bird? It's very rude. You can also just take out their board here, refill with crushing disappointment. They don't never let me keep my birds. You're just dealing damage. Okay. Interesting. Spirit creatures you control gain that. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're we getting rid of. Let's get rid of Pigment Storm. I 
I just want to start getting in there. Like, they have three cards, we have three cards. One of our cards kills everything of theirs. One draws us two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, this is nice. See, now we're in the lead. Okay. Put a burn on it. I'm not going to attack here because if like, they can just block and if they have any removal, they can just kill this. Which their last card very well might be. So if they have a combat trick, they kill our bird anyway. If they have like first strike... I'm going to block here. Okay. So they technically get two guys, sure. But I get a 5-5 five, five and they have no more cards in hand. So I feel like that's the right choice. Oh, we all just, we just kill them now because now we have literal lethal. Shoot him in the brain with that fire. And a lot of Lorehold decks. I'm going to Relic Sloth again. They never let me keep my little birds. Maybe I'll cut Eye Twitch. Nope. Okay. Let's go... F oh, man. This actually seems better than the Laureate here. I'm just going to ship those two. If we draw a black source, it's really good. And then we can go closing statement into return to past caller. Which seems pretty decent. Well, nothing yet. That's even better, going this into this. Okie dokie. Well, our hand is really good if we can hit one more land. Followed by one more land after that, I guess. Is that a lesson? That's a main deck lesson? Interesting. Well, I guess they're mana screwed. Or shorted as well. Also, if we just swamp in another land, we can closing statement this and then play something else.
That weird moment where you wish you had... Come on, dude. This is ridiculous. I mean, they're stuck on three. We're stuck on two. But I know how magic works, so they're going to draw their land here. It's going to be a mountain. And then we're not... Oh, they're not... They're not... They didn't... I guess they're just going to go with this 3-2 lesson. Oh, man. What a glorious day. Oh, that's their, their five mana guy. Oh, beautiful. For spacious skies. For amber waves of grain. I mean, if we draw land, we're just playing Hoff Hoffery. Okay. That's gotta be land. Gotta be. We're going to seven here. living the dream right now. Yeah, I feel like this is better. Like, it, it plays around, like, the tricks we've seen are plus one, plus O, oh, and, like, expel. So this plays around that. Also, if they have a, if they do draw red and they have, like, Deal four damage, it's good. Yep, gets around that. If they have a... Th oh, God, they're attacking. I mean, unfortunately, I have to block. I have no choice. Because I'm not going to go to three. Sure. We're just going to play this guy because he costs six. Because if we get seven, we can go combat professor and then closing statement and kill this. I'm at a point where everything is getting blocked at the, uh, right now. I was going to say at this point. Oh my god, dude. This is wild. But this is what we were looking for. This guy into next. Hit himself. End turn. Kill this guy. Put a counter on the bird. Now we're pretty good. If we hit one more land, we can go Sloth into Statement again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We also have eight, so now we have Explosive Welcome up. Yep, I think this is probably going to lock it away. How have they not hit lands? This, this, is, this is pretty wild.
Yeah, I think this is over. Gain control of target creature, sure. Okay, that's actually pretty good. And it puts us at one, holy smokes. Um, you don't have reach, right? Okay. Oh dear. Maybe this game is over, but for us. Both have vigilance, so I'll give you vigilance. I think we're dead. Like they have to have something that deals us damage here. I, I, I can't imagine they don't. For them to use that kind of that kind of nonsense on us. This is crazy, man. <laughs> so we're just like fucking crossing our fingers. Oh, we want to hit mill a card if that card is a land. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, live to fight another day. <laughs> Wow. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on twitch.tv slash frank or manitraders.com. Good times. Support the channel. Make it happen, Cap'n. Four packs. Feels decent. Second round was unwinnable, I think, but uh, not bad. You're welcome anytime. Oh, man. Charizard James, what up? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.